is a good choice. We do see another immor um, an immortal out for unhealthy. Dude, this game's all but over. Can we get out of that, or? Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna find another we're, game. We got it. We're in a game with size. Oh, are you? Okay. King of the, he's already in the King of the Month tournament. He's a former Craft Cup main event winner. Let me, uh, if you can ask them to hold on a minute, let me go ahead and ask the chat and see what they want to do. You guys want us to get in the size game, or you guys want to continue to see this massacre? It's all up to you guys in the chat. Let us know. Yes, and Jim's mic is awful. Donate and help us get a better mic for Jim. Keep in game, huh? Looks like we've got more for the next. You know, there's really nothing that can be done here. Uh, unhealthy has 38 probes. Indy really needs to push forward here. He keeps prolonging the inevitable. And, you know, I think we are going to go ahead and get into the size game, guys. And if you don't know who size is, he's a very good Zerg player. So, you know, good game to both these players. It looks like uh, unless there's some kind of an upset, Indy will continue on into the next round. And we do have a Protoss victory. I'll, s I'll spare the video, and we're going to go ahead and uh, ding that gong and move on as this giant push comes in. Size is weight, man. This guy's a crap cup main event winner, man. I I'm coming. I'm, I'm out of that game right now. All right, thanks, dude. And I am joining in on you. Good for me. Hey, are, are you here? I am here. Yep. Beautiful. Well, let's rock and roll. You might want to mention SYZ is on the Portuguese national team. That's right. SYZ wow. is on the Portuguese national team. And uh, SY, uh, SYZ will be in the King of the Month tournament, which happens in the first week of March. I'll post up the link to the King of the Month uh, information in the chat room. Or... Uh, Gus or uh, Torre, anybody. Who and it is right there, also on the stream. If you look and you can see the URL is there in the uh, spot for the King of the Month. So you guys can uh, you know type that in, check it out. It's pretty cool. So uh, SYZ against Snuff Corv. Zelmaga Caverns. Where's Test Bug? Come on. Here we go, the countdown has begun. We're ready to bring it to you. Let's get ready to rumble. Non-stop StarCraft action. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is in balance. We've got SYZ against Snuffikov here, and uh, this is going to be on Zelnaga Caverns. This is the EU Craft Cup number 31, Friday night eSports main event. The winner of this cup will go on to the king of the month at kotm.craftcup.com. And uh, we see, you know, Snuff Corv here spawning at the bottom as the purple Zerg. And up here at the top we see SYZ as the green Zerg. So ZVZ here in this, uh, in this next event. So why don't you go ahead and take it away, Jim? All right, this is a round three match. And this is a best of one series. And Craft Cup main event 31 is going to be a ten round event. These guys aren't even one third of the way through. Um, we know that Size is a former Craft Cup main event winner, so he's a formidable opponent. He's in the top 50 of the European ladder, and I don't know much about Snuffcorp at all. I do know his skills will be greatly tested in this round three matchup. That's for sure. And uh, your mic still doing it, man. All right, well, I'll keep moving it around. See what I can pull off, dude. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And the first scout is out by SYZ right now as he goes across the map. And as well, Snuff throwing out his first scout. So, uh, you know, besides that, nothing too much happened. Doesn't look like any type of uh, crazy play going down. No uh, six pools. No ten pools. As notice that. Notice size his first building is an extractor. That's right. So that means an extractor then quickly followed up by a spawning pool. So we're going to see early speed Zerg wings by size, which is a standard play by him in Zerg mirrors. 
and Snuffcorp has placed down an expansion in his natural expansion area size scouted that immediately but did not contest it you have to wonder if size has already got something up his sleeve that's for sure and yeah. we'll see snuff throwing down the extractor as well as the spawning pool right after his expansion was placed down so now the question here is going to be if size is going to pull off these drones after he has harvested 100 uh, gas yes it'll be interesting to see that decision being made and at the same time, Snuffcorp continues to go full steam ahead with his and production of drones. Go ahead. That's exactly what happened with Size. Size did pull off his drones from this uh, extractor here as he starts pumping out Lings and his queen and metabolic speed boost. Those Lings will have wings. And four of them moving across the board now. And those uh, lings will have wings in about 70 seconds as we don't see Roach Warren being created by Snuffcorp in his main base. So we're going to see Roach and Zergling versus Speed Zerglings early game. And that drone goes down. There are four lings out going in a, or going into the main base for Snuff. Seeing what type of damage can be done. Uh, you know, size is going right after the uh, right after the harvesters on the gas. As all the drones come off the line to defend against those four lings. And Size already has a true two drone advantage five minutes into this game. We do see a Roach Warren also going down for Size right now as he places down his, uh, his, his natural expansion. Just at the same time that four lings are, well, maybe more. Do we have six lings going across the field now? Uh, going to go right into Size's expansion and will scout that out and probably try to do some type of damage here. Uh, but there are lings out here. There are speed lings out here and for they got Size. The they got the speed boost, so... So if anything, Size can just attack and kite. Attack and kite. Well, they're melee yeah. units. You can't kite with melee units, buddy. But anyway, that's okay, pal. Whatever. <laughs> you try your best. I'll give you that. In any event, Roach Warren has been completed by size. So both players have been Roach Warren, and in fact, size has got three three roaches on the board, and it looks like Snuffcorp has zero roaches. Snuffcorp, however, has droned up rather than building roaches. Snuffcorp now has hit 24 drones mining off of two bases. Sorry, 28 drones mining off of two bases, whereas Size only has 20 drones mining off of two bases. Both players have a roach warren and a spawning pool. Size, of course, has the speed on his Zerglings, and Snuffcorp hasn't even begun researching speed for his Zerglings at this point. Anything you'd like to add, MC Dust? Um, you know, it doesn't look like anything too much is going on here. As uh, the speedling, speedling boost is going down right now for uh, Snuff. That's 100 seconds away, though. That's right, it just long, now long started. Time to go. And interesting that Size is almost hiding these Zerglings in the corner of his, uh, you know what I mean, in between his bases so that, so that uh, Snuff Corp can't find him with his overlords. Uh, in fact, we will notice now 10 Roaches and 24 Zerglings for Size. Size is electing to build units rather than build drones. And let's see uh, if that strategy turns out to be effective as we see Roaches and then we're going to see Zerglings at play this. Roaches in one direction, Zerglings in the other. Yep, that's right. And this is a pretty formidable force here. There is only one yeah. spine crawler. And 11 Roaches to 4 Roaches here. 11 Roaches for size, 4 Roaches for uh, Snop Corp. And there it is. GG is called right when that force enters. And it looks like Snuffcorp is out of here. Size is pushing forward. We've got the first Zerg victory of the day. This is my world. No more games. The evolution continues. All right, so we see, we see Zerg push forward as I delete the wrong thing there on the stream. Give me a second now. And uh, we're gonna, folks, we're gonna have the uh, the Serbian Superman in round four action of Craft Cup main event number thirty one. Sounds good. 
And it looks like he's going up against Papo Lee. And the only reason I know where he's from is we've seen a United Arabs Emirate flag in the past round. And we have Papo Lee from UAE going up against BCQT in round four. We got requests to get into the Cyplo game as well. Okay. If we can get an invitation, we'll take it. By the way, Dreamcatcher versus Cyplo? Dude, if I can get into that game, I will. Hold on a second. No, you can't. I, do. I already tried. And Papuli okay, is Zomax's buddy. Oh, it's okay. Great, man. Well, two guys from the United Arab Emirates coming out and kicking butt and taking names. That's right. Okay. Oh. Minigris, you aren't uh, Jim Raynor. Jim Raynor can do anything. That's or right. Uh, Accor no, no, no. According to Jim Raynor, he can do anything. Yeah, according to himself, he can do anything. Oh, it was a good try by any group to try to get into that game. Now I get the lovely game, otherwise. Alright. Oh, lovely. It looks like I have to log off and log back in again, because I have this weird, I don't know what's going on. So we got a game here in the next second, or can I play, uh, it's, can we take a uh, visit no, to the trailer we got a game. We got a game in, man. Okay. It's, uh, VCQT round four. As soon as I can... Rejoin. I just log, log back in again. Hopefully that'll get the job done. Sounds good. We'll do some requests here once we get more time, guys. There's not enough time to do these requests yet. But thanks for joining us here at Imba TV. Glad to have you. Got my webcam all working up and uh, on the stream. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I hope uh, I hope the show's not too uh, laggy for you or anything like that. And uh, Satini is here today, and he's manager of round four. Um, Star Eagle from, uh, isn't that called Keen Italy? or Anyway, Star Eagle is here today, and he's in round four. Goody has made it to round four. And if you guys want to join in on me... I'll join in on Torre. Mm-hmm. Okay, turn in on whoever you want, man. Because <laughs> I'm, because I'm Imba. So it's gonna be on Scrap Station. I want to see Test Bug already. This is a fascinating uh, elimination choice. This is round four, so these players have already defeated three players each. So they're not, you know, we know we don't know anything about Papali, but he's he's not a moron. So guys, if you guys are catching lag, uh, please check the own channel. Here we go, we're in the next round. Alright everybody, welcome to Imbar TV, where everything is in balance. Thanks for joining us, I'm MC Dust, with me is Jim Rayner. We've got Papuli against BCQT here. Round four match going down in the EU Craft Cup, number 31. Great night for StarCraft. And uh, a lot of snow outside where I live, so uh, I'll be staying indoors playing StarCraft and watching some epic matches as we bring you the non-stop StarCraft action we do every time we cast. You know what? It's uh, 10 Celsius where I am, or 52 Fahrenheit. So take that, by the Okay. Well, fine. In any in any event, uh, this is an interesting choice of maps by both of these players. It was arrived at by a, a veto process. We started with nine maps. Each player eliminated maps one at a time until we ended at Scrap Station, which is an unusual choice. Definitely. I want to know. I want to know if Papali or BCQT has got a specific build up their sleeve to handle this specific map. This is a best of one round four event, and uh, it's you know a ten round. This is 10 rounds all together to win the Craft Cup, so these guys are, uh, they win this, they're going to be almost halfway there. 